Hello everyone, and welcome back, to Info Shorts channel. Today I'm going to show you, how to turn any anime image, into a realistic photo. It's really easy, and you don't need a nice GPU, or even a supercomputer. I'm going to show you how to do this, for free, in C-Art, AI, platform. All you need is, to sign up or log in, it's totally free. Once you are in, simply, click generate, at the top. Ok, now all we need to do is, go to image to image. So you can either click this button here, or under advanced, click image to image. And then, we are asked to upload an image. So let's start with this one. Now a cool thing about C-Art, is it can also auto-suggest a prompt based on the image that you uploaded. So if you click on Intelligent Analysis, you can see it's suggesting the models to use. It's suggesting the prompt to use, if you do this it can generate something very similar to your image. But that's not what we want right in this tutorial. So, let us describe it in our own words. We just need to briefly describe this, it doesn't have to be exact, because the AI is going to base a lot of its data, on this original image. So, we just need to guide it on what this is roughly so it's going to be. A girl with long brown hair, orange jacket and orange hat, wearing a white shirt. For the model, this is where you select the style of your image, this is also called a checkpoint. There's a lot of different models, you can choose from. Let's go with Henmix, so just simply, search Henmix at the top here. Is a realistic looking model, that is very robust, you can't really go wrong with it. Strength. This is how much you want the new image, to follow the original one. If you drag it all the way to zero, then it's just going to look exactly like the original image, there's not going to be much change. If you drag it all the way to one, it's going to give you a completely random image, so let's try 0.46. Image quantity is how many images you want this to generate. Let's leave it at 2. Image mode, you can select from these ultra high quality, just gives you a higher resolution image, but right now let's just leave it at high quality. Image size, is basically the aspect ratio. This seems like a 916 aspect ratio. It gives you a default negative prompt already, so we can just leave this as is. Sampling method, this is basically the algorithm, that the AI uses to create the image. I tend to use these three, let's go with this one. Sampling steps, this is how many iterations of training the image goes through. Generally a value around 20 to 30 works best, let's try 25. CFG scale, is how much you want the AI to follow your prompt. So if you drag it all the way to zero, it's not going to follow your prompt at all. And give you a random image, if you drag it all the way to the right, then it's going to follow your prompt too literally and you're going to get some. Weird results. So generally, the default value of 7 works the best. And that's pretty much it, let's click run. Alright, so here are the results, not bad. Actually it's great result. I love it. Not bad compared to the original image. So there you have it, this is the realistic version of your anime image. Save it, simply right click, and then save image. Alright let's try something else. We'll click on image to image, and then click on upload. And for the prompt, let's just roughly describe this. A white girl with pink hair, a blue bow in her hair, a short light blue skirt, sitting on a wooden bench with a modern city behind her. And I will leave everything as the previous one. Model and mix. 
Strength, 0.46. And then yeah, the aspect ratio of this is roughly 2 to 3. We'll keep the default negative prompt. Sampling method. Sampling steps, 25. CFG scale, 7. And let's just click run, and see what it gives us. So you're not bad, cool result. To save it, right click and then save image. So there you have it, an AI platform, that you can use for free, to generate anime images into realistic looking images. That is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it remember to like subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Stay well, and bye bye.